Hello, I'm Sally Pointer. I've just bought myself a new vintage powder compact, but like so many of these, the puff was long since gone and it needed a new one. In this really quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to easily make a new swan's down type puff to use with old powder compacts. I recently treated myself to this absolutely gorgeous vintage powder compact. It was made probably in the very early 30s. And although there's a bit of wear and tear to the back, this foil picture of a kingfish on the front is so pretty. I just absolutely couldn't resist it. Now, it's actually in really nice condition inside. This was made by a company called um, Gwenda, and they specialise in these foil prints. And it's a really robust construction. It's got the original Swanstown puff, which we'll have a look at in a moment. The filter inside, the little sieve, now that is still in lovely condition. This is actually a usable compact. I've given this a wash and warm soapy water to sanitise it and freshen it up. The problem though is that the original Swansdown puff really has had it. Now these genuinely are Swansdown. If you look inside, the two little bits of skin with the feathers attached to it. So this, this has had it. I won't throw it away because it's part of the original history of the object, but there's no way that's fit to use even if it's sanitised. So what I need to do is make myself a completely new powder puff. And you can do these quite easily using marabou feather strings. So for this project, you need some very simple materials. This is some of that very cheap marabou feather string. The feathers are all applied onto a cord down the middle. And you buy this by the yard and it only costs a pound or two for a length. It's really cheap, comes in every colour of the rainbow. You're going to need a little bit of a nice, thin, firm felt. Try and get a good quality one. You'll like the end results better. You could use very thin leather or some other stiff fabric as well. You're going to need a needle and thread. It doesn't exactly have to match this. We're going to be covering it up with a felt. So if in doubt, match it to your felt and a pair of scissors. Now, all we're going to be doing is sewing the marabou string round in circles onto itself. I'm going to thread my needle and then we'll get started. Now don't worry if your sewing isn't brilliant, it doesn't have to be fantastic for this. The important thing is to work smoothly and systematically and what we're going to do is smooth the feathers away from the centre of the string so they all point in one direction and then you're just going to start rolling up that central string. Once you've got a little bit you can hang on to, take your needle and thread, make a couple of stitches to catch it together. I quite often find I get slightly snarled on the feathers in the first few stitches, but don't worry, that will come right. As I said, you don't have to have brilliant sewing for this, because you're not going to see this bit. And you're just going to keep twisting the string around itself, taking stitches every now and then to hold it together. Do your best to keep the fluff pointing to one side, just keep smoothing that round with your fingers, little by little. And don't worry if it's not looking tidy. The important thing is it needs to be flat. You don't have a lot of room in powder compact. If you're doing this for a powder bowl, you can be a bit more three-dimensional about it, but for a compact, you need this little spiral, you think of it as like a little snail shell coiled up. You need this little spiral to be as flat as you can manage it. So just keep working around until you've got a size that is big enough to pick up and use and will fit comfortably in your powder compact. It's probably going to be smaller than you think. For my little compact, it's only going to be about the size of a, well, a medium sized coin. It's, it's not it's not going to be a huge patch. And of course, all this fluffiness is sticking to the other side, and that's the bit that's going to make our nice powder puff. So I'll just finish sewing this round to get to the right size, and I'll come back when I'm nearly at the end. I'm about halfway there, I reckon. So I've pretty much got this to be the size that I want it to be. I would say it's about the size of a two pence piece, maybe a little bit bigger. So I'm going to clip the end off. Let's get rid of that. 
Now we don't want a spiky end sticking out, so it's very important that you sew down this end nice and tidily. The last thing you want is spiky bits when you're powdering your face, and there can be little ends of feathers when you clip these. So sew that down as nicely as you can. Now you don't need to take the thread off before you do the next bit. What we're going to do is cut a little circle of felt of about the right size. Now again, you can draw around a coin if you're worried about your ability to cut a circle. I'm trying to do this whilst looking through the camera lens, so mine is probably going to be a bit wonky, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. So you're going to want a round bit, and you're also going to want a short straight bit to use as the little holder. So exact length doesn't really matter, it's probably maybe an inch, a couple of centimetres, something like that. Those are the bits we need now. So the first thing to do is sew this onto the back of the puff. So if you remember I hadn't actually removed my needle so I can just whip this stitch this all the way around the edge. Again try really hard to keep all the feathers on the puff side of this. She's out of shot, but one of my cats has just come to investigate what I'm doing. So if we do get something to land on my lap, we might have to stop and start again. So for this bit, if you can manage neat sewing, so much the better. I'm nearly all the way around. You can do these very beautifully by using things like silk ribbons pleated to make top parts for the puff. You do see that in period powder puffs quite a bit. And of course this one's tiny. If you were doing a really big puff you could do something quite elaborate with this padding bit at the back. When you get back to the beginning and you're at the area where you might have little spiky bits again just take a little bit of care over that. So this is not my neatest sewing. I'm not too worried for this particular demonstration. I'm going to bring the needle up into the middle and then I'm going to fold my little tag in half. You could use a bit of satin ribbon for this instead. Watching out for fluff. And I'm going to sew this down to the middle. Oops, fluff, fluff everywhere. Yeah. And then just to secure it, I'm going to go all the way through the puff back up on itself. That just makes sure that's really nicely anchored. Okay, we're nearly there. So, clip off your end of thread and we can see how we're doing on fit. And I know straight away this isn't going to be a perfect fit at this stage, but nice little powder puff if you had something a bit bigger for it to go in. Scruffy though, around the edges. Let's have a look at it with the compact. So, our original puff, it's not a million size different, in the centre but we've got all these frilly bits and of course if they were put in they're going to stick out around the edges of the compact so it needs a haircut. Easiest way to do this is just give it a nice little teasing out first. Hold it with the little grip facing you and just trim off at a fairly even distance all the way around the straggly sticky out bits. Now whether you trim the face of it is a bit of a matter of personal preference. Some people like a really loose fluffy puff. Personally for my taste that's just a little too sticky out. So I'm going to give this just a little haircut. It will compact down in use anyway and there's nothing to stop you trimming more later. So let's try that. Is that going to fit now? Certainly better. I think we might need a little bit more. Yeah, just a tiny bit more around the edges, but it certainly does fit into the compact. One last little trim up. Again, I'm doing this quite fast because I'm trying to get the tutorial done so you can see what I'm doing. If you take your time with this, you can do a really, really tidy job. 
There we are, fluffy little puff that should fit neatly in there. That's great. I think now we need to try it out. So, puff comes out. Let me just move the worst of the fluff. Take out the little sifter. Being quite gentle with it. It is old. This bit can be replaced if necessary. I've got some modern face powder here. I'm not going to overfill it for the first trial run. And you should find, that's it, that that will now pick up a little bit of powder. Pop that in your handbag, ready to go for the dance.